description of the continuous flight hack for the Kmart Flying Ghost. Normally it's set up to fly intermittently. Someone on Halloween Forum dot com figured out that you can take two wires there are two white wires that are normally soldered to this microphone the microphone is hot glued in so then these two wires sometimes they're easy to remove and sometimes they're not take a pair of tweezers if you need to and twist the wires together and I added black electrical tape is what you see there to hold them together and when you turn it on that's without sound That's the mechanism that makes it fly back and forth and that's the hack that makes it fly back and forth continuously. Also note that sometimes when you put these batteries in the ghost might not fly so just roll your thumb across those batteries and it'll set them so it makes contact and it'll fly on old toys or ones that haven't been used in a while you can also use alkaline plus batteries to give them a jolt they're used for heavy duty electronics you have to remember to snap the mechanism back into place there's one armature there and there's one on the other side make sure the wires on the side are all put back in place when you clamp the clamshell back together there you can see the mechanism hooked back up on the top and the bottom it's easiest to hook one up say the bottom one while it's open then as you're putting the two plastic pieces together put that other lever together there's eight screws on this plastic piece use a Phillips head screwdriver to unscrew them there's four on each side then put the lid back on the battery compartment and use a Phillips head screwdriver to put that screw back into place. You can see the foam head was hot glued to the plastic. You can hot glue it back into place or just leave it after you do the hack. Position the flying ghost. I took one inch 40 scheduled PVC drilled holes at the top where the bungee cord will go through it's a 25 foot bungee cord that comes with it the PVC is painted black with Krylon Fusion Ultra Flat Camo Black we used it last year so it did scratch off a bit otherwise you don't need any primer so that's a six foot tall piece you can see last year we twisted it into the ground and that's how far it went into the ground, a couple inches. Now this is a two foot piece of rebar that will be pounded into the ground with a hammer. And in order to measure the distance between the two posts, all I did was lay down the rebar, two foot rebar. That's four feet. One more is six feet, so we're six feet apart. I'll be pounded into the ground and then the PVC will go on top of it and they'll hold it into place. Pound the rebar down about six inches or so into the ground so it's stable with a hammer. 
twist the PVC, applying some pressure into the ground, so it is about two inches into the ground. Thread the bungee through on one side, pull it up so you have something to work with, put it back down inside and then pull it through this side. Push it through like that and then pull it through. Should be easy enough. It's a little tricky because of that piece of metal, that metal hook. Start with those two clips centered. It's the center of the ghost. You press them down and you move them. So you move one of these clips all the way flush with the post of the PVC pipe. And then you pull it taut around the stake. It's a two foot stake painted black with latex paint. Um, pounded into the ground about four to six inches. And it's at an angle. So then you wrap the bungee cord around it. And you can clip it to itself. And then you do the same for the other side. One person can do this. It's easier with two people, but one person can do it. So that piece of plastic inside the Kmart Flying Ghost head is pretty heavy to hold the batteries and the mechanism and the speaker and all the electronics, wiring and all that. So it will, the bungee cord will bow a little bit. That's basically how you can set one up. There it is without sound. Even in the wind he flies. <laughs>